Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial 38 of our introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about image filtering, but for edge detection. And I'm specifically gonna talk about Robert, Sobel, Shar, Pruitt, and Farid filters. All of these are available in scikit-image. Even though these are like five, six different choices and you may find other choices elsewhere, probably the best one or, uh, or the fastest one that gives the best result is Sobel filter, just a uh, heads up. Now, let me quickly explain the background of uh, or the math behind each of these before jumping into scikit image. So the implementation is very easy. Again, uh, just like any other filter or any other uh, uh, like Gaussians or other smoothing filters that we talked about earlier, bulk of the work has been done by someone else. So we'll just use the libraries and apply uh, relevant functions onto our images. Now, let's start by talking about Robert's filter. They're all very similar. So let me spend a few minutes on Robert's and then we can just uh, skip through the other ones or breeze through the other ones. So uh, Roberts actually has two different kernels, X and Y kernel, okay? And as you can see, the vertical kernel is rotated by 90 degrees compared to the horizontal one. Now, these two are convolved with the image. And again, please watch my tutorial about image convolution. Uh, this is basically a multiplication of pixel by pixel centered around a pixel uh, you know, of interest. So you apply these horizontal and vertical, and then you kind of modify the new pixel value by doing this math, that's it, okay? For each of these uh, filters. So again, it highlights the regions of high spatial gradient, which is nothing but our edges. Now, if you look at Sobel filter, which is very similar to uh, Roberts actually, okay? Except the matrix, instead of two by two, this is a three by three matrix. And apparently that does, that makes a huge difference and you can test it out yourself. Now the horizontal operator again is uh, described like this and the vertical is as uh, for Roberts, you know, exactly 90 degrees rotated uh, kernel compared to the horizontal. And the new pixel value is calculated very similar to Roberts. And moving on to prove it, exactly same as uh, Sobel again, uh, except uh, the, the numbers, the values within these operators are different. That's pretty much it, okay? Now, uh, Shar and Farid, I didn't uh, put uh, too many details here. Uh, Shar is typically used uh, to identify gradients along X. And again, this is very similar uh, to the previous operations, uh, except again, as you can see, uh, you have two different operators. Again, very similar to the other ones, right? And uh, in one case, your uh, differential dx equals to one and dy equals to zero. So think of this as, uh, you know, this operator where along this direction you have uh, values of zero, along this direction you have certain values, okay? Uh, and along for y, the dx is zero and dy is one, okay? And these are independently applied. And again, these are uh, performances similar to Sobel filter, but I, uh, in fact, the output looks very similar to Sobel filter. Let's go ahead and look at it. Now, Farid is something new. This is not available in older versions of Scikit image. It's uh, if you have like the latest one, which is 0 0.17, then Farid is available. And again, this is based on one of the recent papers. Uh, and uh, it uses kernel sizes of five by five for interpolation and seven by seven for differentiation. You can read the original paper if you're more interested, but that's pretty much uh, I would like to cover from a background point of view. Now let's see how to use it, which is what we care about. Okay, so uh, I'm going to import OpenCV, CV2, to read my images. And most of the filters that you see typically work on grayscale images. So you have to read image either as a grayscale image or read it as color image, RGB image, but convert the color space from RGB to lab, for example. If you convert that, then in the lab space, L stands for luminescence or luminance, I believe, and L is nothing but your grayscale component of that color image, and A and B define the color space, okay? So you can extract that L part and then apply your function and then mix the colors again. In fact, we are going to do that in one of our future tutorials, maybe two or three tutorials from now. So for now, let's stick with the grayscale image, okay? And from scikit-image.filters, skimage.filters, I'm going to import Robert, Sobel, Shar, and Pruitt. I'm not importing Farid because if I do import skimage and then skimage dot underscore underscore version, two underscores again, 
it gives me I have 0 0.15.0. I thought about upgrading the scikit image version, but I have a bit of other code that kind of relies on this version, so I don't want to upgrade it yet. Now, one thing I could have done is created a new environment for Python so I can actually do all the modifications and then use this. Uh, uh, that's an option that you have if you want to do it. Anyway, let's get back and I'm not going to import for it, but it's very simple. You just do import for it. That's that's it. OK, and how do we apply? OK, I imported Roberts. So my Roberts image is Roberts and image is the array, right, that we are uh, bringing here. So let's go ahead and run to these three lines at a time or two lines at a time. So my image is unsigned integer eight of size 481 by 674. OK, and now I'm going to apply on that array Robert, Sobel, Shar, and Pruitt, okay? And I'm assigning individual variables. So let's go ahead and do this. Run these lines. Okay, it's almost instantaneous. No delay at all, as you can see. As soon as I hit run, you get the results. So these are all very fast filters, okay? And then you can see the, uh, uh, you know, my, my uh, uh, arrays for Pruitt, Robert, Shaw, and Sobel over there. Now let's go ahead and visualize them. Okay, I'm using OpenCV. If you want to save it, by the way, once you apply these filters, the values are all floating 64s and they're not unsigned integer 8s. So please convert this from float to unsigned integer 8. Again, I've done it a couple of times in the previous tutorials. Please watch my tutorial about scikit image. Okay, so now let's go ahead and show these images so we can actually see how uh, they look like. Okay, in this case, don't worry about your input image in fact I could have opened my input image but uh, starting with Roberts they all look very similar right so Bell and as you can see compared to Roberts so Bell actually has a very nice again Roberts you can see some of these finer details I let you work on your own images that's the only way to figure out exactly which one works for you but uh, let's close Roberts and now look at so Bell and Shar they should look very similar actually. I mean, they're all doing a great job. So they should uh, actually look very similar and prove it is also very similar. So again, it comes down to exactly the type of image that you're trying to uh, use for your edge detection, but you cannot go wrong with uh, most of these actually. And Sobel is something that's very common. So if you want, please stick with that. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, let's actually cover a different operation in the next tutorial. And please keep watching this. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, so we don't have to send you tweets or other messages whenever new videos get uploaded. Thank you very much.